Hi friends, hope you are fine. The greatest wonder in this planet for a biologist is the cell, the building blocks of life. Microscopic, simple in size, but meticulously complex in functionality with different compartments can be compared to a bustling city or an ultra-sophisticated factory. These cells does everything to keep us alive. In this video, let us compare cell to a city to understand the function of different parts of the cell within 5 minutes. In the case of an animal cell, the outermost boundary is the cell membrane. Cell membrane can be compared to the city limits which are guarded by officials that regulates entry and exit into the city. Just like that, a cell membrane is a selectively permeable membrane with phospholipid bilayer and proteins that regulates the movement of molecules to the cell and from the cell. It maintains the internal environment of the cell. Cytoplasm can be compared to the entire premise or area or environment of the city where everything is happening. In a cell, the cytoplasm is a semi-fluid, jelly-like substance where all organelles are embedded with different enzymes, biomolecules, ions, etc. Nucleus, the controlling center of the cell, can be compared to the city hall or town hall where meetings, decisions are made that is drafted as laws for the smooth governance of the city. It's a chief administrative building of a city just like that. This nucleus contains genetic material DNA that codes for proteins that is required for the smooth functioning of the cell. Ribosomes can be compared to the factories where products are produced in a city. In a cell, ribosomes are complex nanomachines that synthesize proteins. Endoplasmic reticulum can be compared to the highway or road transportation system that transport these products to different parts of the city or a cell. These are membrane sacs, especially rough endoplasmic reticulum is with ribosomes that are involved in the synthesis of membrane and secretory proteins. So that is connected to this nuclear membrane. The proteins synthesized are modified and transported through this endoplasmic reticulum and is further dispatched to different parts of the cell. So ER can be compared to the highway of a city. Golgi apparatus, these are membranous vesicles, can be compared to the post office of the city, where the products or proteins produced are chemically tagged or addressed and that is dispatched to different parts of the city. For example, if a protein is tagged with mano-6-phosphate, then it will be dispatched to the lysosome. If a protein is having a nuclear localization signal, a specific sequence of amino acid, then that protein is targeted back to the nucleus. The protein products that reaches this Golgi apparatus is chemically tagged or addressed and is dispatched to different parts of the city, just like a post office. Then vesicles. From this Golgi apparatus, these products are dispatched inside vesicles or proteins are inside these vesicles, just like a transport truck that carries these products to different parts of the city. These products are addressed at Golgi apparatus and is packed in vesicles and is transported to different parts of the cell. Mitochondrion can be compared to the power plant of the city where electricity is generated. Just like that, inside the cell, mitochondrion is an organelle, which is a double membrane bound organelle with DNA that produces ATP or chemical energy that is required for smooth running of this cell, all activities of the cell. And finally, for a city, there should be a waste disposal system or a recycling plant. Inside the cell, the recycling plant is the lysosome with digestive enzymes. This lysosome is involved in intracellular and extracellular digestion, then recycling and also degradation of unwanted waste materials that is produced within the cell. So let me summarize. The cell membrane can be compared to the city limits that ensures restricted entry where a cytoplasm is the entire premise or environment of a cell or a city. Nucleus can be compared to the city hall where decisions are drafted as laws for the smooth governance of the city, whereas ribosomes can be compared to the factories producing products in a city, whereas an ER is the channel through which these products are transported, and Golgi apparatus can be compared to the post office where these products are properly addressed and dispatched to different parts of the cell and vesicle 
can be compared to transport trucks on which these products are packed and dispatched. Mitochondrion is a power plant or powerhouse of the cell. Lysosome can be compared to a recycling plant where waste are disposed, recycled and degraded. Hope you understand the functions of different parts of the cell in comparison with city. Take care. Stay blessed. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.